time to be a real woman. Oh. I love Melbourne. There is something wrong with the wiring loom. Mate, can't wait to get out. It snowed yesterday. More good times this weekend. Now it's time to hit the road. It's nice and warm in that northerly. Like it definitely feels almost like, you know, somewhere not on the Great Ocean Road at this time of year. <laughs> Angle Beach? Angle Sea. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was Angle Sea. Chocolate. That's true. Selfie time! It's a tough one, but it's not tough at the same time that we're going to just go straight up the guts of South Australia and get to where it's warm as soon as possible. It's cold. <laughs> Story short, I'm going to Dandenong now. Yesterday, I drove all the way across the city to pick up the van, but it turned out someone had made a mistake at the repairers and it hadn't been repaired. So that was awesome. Got to sit in about three and a half hours of peak hour traffic to find out I wasn't going to take the van with me. So hopefully that's going to get done today. Uh, the reason I'm going down to Dandenong is because I've got to go to TJM because our brake controller has been a bit funny. Um, you put the brakes on, it comes on perfectly, and then you put them on again, and it doesn't come on if you do it too quickly. So that caused an issue in Tassie that I didn't feel comfortable with. And uh, when we were coming down a range, the brakes got hot, and I think I could attribute it to, you know, the trailer brakes. So we're going to suss, suss that out today. Um, maybe it's ESC, I don't know, but there's something fishy going on. We're going to get to the bottom of it. So I'll let, keep you posted on that. But as for now. I better get on the road because I've got another hour drive down to Danny Nong in traffic. I love Melbourne. We ride on, keep it coming and we push on. When night comes, we'll be sleeping with the light on. Interesting turn of events. So it turns out in there, uh, the incorrect, incorrect, the incorrect wiring loom's been used. So um, interesting turn of events. Turns out. Well, interesting turn of events. Turns out that in there, they have used the incorrect. Incorrect? That's the second take. I'm going to run with that because obviously I want to say incorrect. I love a man who can't pronounce his R's. Really? Uh, incorrect wiring loom. And it's uh, obviously been impacting the operation of the brakes. So I've been wondering what's been wrong with the brakes for a while, but obviously didn't have the experience to sort of be able to pinpoint and go, hey, that's not right. I could feel something was wrong and it was annoying me, but I didn't want to be annoying and say, hey, there's something wrong with my brakes. Can you ever feel like it was working enough, but it was just erratic, you know, like it was kind of a bit dodgy. So there we go. There is something wrong with the wiring loom and hopefully that solves our issue that we were experiencing. So they're talking to the guys up in Queensland that did the install now, who were awesome and like, no, no on them like I think it's a, a, a pretty uh, easy mistake to make from what I could tell researching on the net last night the px3s were notorious they changed everything and even Red Arc themselves weren't entirely happy with the way Ford wanted the system wide but lo and behold there they were so yeah a few little wiggy things about how the px3 ranges were interfacing with the Red Arc Toe Pro uh, hopefully we can get it fixed quickly and get out of here today and have everything sweet We ride on, keep it coming and we push on When night comes, we'll be sleeping with the light on Like dominoes, we're always falling We ride on, keep it coming and we push on When night comes 
So, that's all done. It was uh, wired incorrectly. That can cause some issues. I'm wondering if it's caused all the issues. I'm not sure. We'll have to suss it out when we tow the van next, but it looks like it's all tested and working properly and doing good. So, I'm looking forward to getting it uh, hitched onto the van. I've got to run over now and pick that up. Hopefully that's all done and fixed and sorted. And uh, yeah, then we'll be almost ready to hit the road. So, good times. Anyway, let's see how we go. New hair, who this? Spin girl. Spin girl. <laughs> Glamorous spin girl. So, time in Melbourne's come to an end. Again. It's always saying, saying goodbye to the fam, mm. but we're going to stay with some friends down in Peter, Peterborough. 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 On the Great Ocean Road, Great just Ocean Road. There you go. And that's the start of our trip towards South Australia. But it's going to be sort of stilted, uh, not typically what we had planned, because mm -hmm. now I've got to go back to Queensland for a shoot, and there's a few other bits and pieces that have to be done up there. So, Just to earn the money so we can do the trip. Got to keep making that money, that pyramid, pyramid scheme, scheme money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, that's from uh, Teen Titans, I think, the kids' show. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're gonna head up down there and catch up with some mates, and then there's gonna be a little bit of disjointed travel, and then we're going up the Great Ocean Road South into Australia. South Australia and the Barossa. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> and mum and dad will be joining us as well because we haven't seen them since we left the sunny coast yeah, in November. Since so no, 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 not since Cairns, since no, November. Since November. Yeah. Yeah. For a while, so we'll catch up with Kate's folks and then uh, then head up through the guts. Mm. So, lots to do, but we better get on the road. We're running late, yeah. so, yeah, Always. Peterborough, here we come. missed a lot and you're not going to be privy to it because we actually didn't film it well I did film I did heaps of filming but that was for work and that was on the other camera camera the other camera ah uh, the other camera but what I can do is I can probably just go blink 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 and show a couple of shots if you're interested uh, so yeah maybe do that Steps out of sight behind the sky. Back it comes around just like every time. Fireflies float up into the night air. Smoke and broken glass under the sun. Can't hardly believe. That it's really real That you really feel What you say you feel Can't hardly believe You're in love with me That you're gonna be there When I need That 
that's really real, that you really feel, what you say you feel, can't hardly believe. G'day. So, we... Hmm. <laughs> Hang on, let me think. <laughs> I have just finished cleaning the car. <laughs> We're gonna cut that part. So, uh, just finished cleaning the car. Bessie's looking good. Van's all clean. I'm getting ready to leave. Uh, I gotta pack a few things because tomorrow morning, we are heading off down the surf coast, up the Great Ocean Road, or down the Great Ocean Road, whichever, across the Great Ocean Road, hard to say. Uh, so that's happening in the morning. In just a minute, I've got to go pick up Katie and the girls from the airport. They're just coming back from the sunny coast. Um, it's been a bit of stuff going on up there. I had to do some work and some other family stuff that we might go into later, but uh, not right now. And uh, yeah, basically just looking forward to getting back on the road. It's been busy, been super busy. Had about eight days on the tools up there and yeah, it was good. It was good to be back working for a bit, but I'm ready to be back caravanning more, I think, and having beers by the fire and going to wineries and surfing and doing all the good stuff. Uh, that was enough work for now. <laughs> so anyway, um, got something uh, interesting in the works that I've been editing today uh, for Phil down at Bruny Island. So I hope to be able to show you that. But yeah, as we are now, I better get them wriggle on and put the rest of the stuff because I still haven't unpacked all my camera gear that I took up north. So I've got to pack all that back into the car, canopy, van. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to get the girls. So on the road again tomorrow. Man, I can't wait. It's going to be good. Oh, Dale. But she got the right stuff there, Tessa. She won't forget when she... This is actually the same hammer, Dale, that I used to use when I was a little kid. Ready? <laughs> that it? Oh. Yeah, well. Yes! Woohoo! She's done it! She's banged in her first ever nail! All right, everyone get in together. Everyone look happy. Look happy. You're not looking happy enough. And there's some other things. You right? What's wrong? I'm oh, taking look. my jumper. Okay, you okay though? Yeah. Sit, sit. Rosie, just come sit. You right over there, Dale? Sit. Sit. Oh, Dale, you right? Sit. Yeah. There you right, mate? Sit. Sit, Rosie. Take three. Oh my god, Goodbyes. we're trying to leave again, and uh, this time it's for real. So we are heading down to somewhere we on the Great Ocean Road Anglesey. today, maybe Anglesey. Mm. We're a bit like freaked out because we read some reviews, and then there's like maybe there's some theft. Yeah, Don't know, give it a go. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit sketchy. So we're gonna see how we go. Yeah, Hopefully, nothing gets stolen. Days. Oh, the youth, the, the youth, youth of today. So, anyway, it's uh. 
yeah, we kind of got way late a little bit and had to go back to the sunny coast for a bit. We might speak about that a bit later. Mm. Uh, but for now, we've got some uh, family and friends and stuff here we got to say goodbye to. And then it's time to hit the road. Looking forward to having a frothy on the beach this afternoon. Yay! Yay, 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 yay. <laughs> No wind, it's just glassy out there. You gotta be joking me. So, we're here at Anglesey. Uh, beach is there, it's strange. Like, I don't think I've ever been down the Great Ocean Road when there's no wind at all. It's just calm and just, hey, look at this, what's going on here? Hey? And we can't go down the beach. Yeah, apparently the beach path is closed or something. What's going on with that? The whole beach, there's uh, falling rocks from the cliffs or something. <clears throat> Falling cliff rocks sounds like a good um, opportunity to get around it. So we're yeah, it's just glassy out there. It's so nice. It's flat. Looks amazing. There's a little bit of tiny bit of swell, like hardly any waves. It's probably like a foot, which would be sick for the kids. So yeah, I'm excited. Feels good to be by the ocean again. And it's not look. It's not freezing cold. It's so good. It's like 23 or 24 degrees, which is like. Uh, Awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna go see what's going on. Maybe get a beer, do a walk around the park, and uh, see what's up. You want a froth? Yeah. Frothy. Frothy. So, absolutely epic day here today in Anglesey. Mate, it's cracking weather. Wind's blowing north, so it's just, it's warm. It's really nice and really warm. Just went down for a swim. Ocean's just over there. I don't know if you can see out there. Yeah, you can. It's good. Cranky, I don't know. Bluey's in there. And um, it's cold. Like, I think it's 15 degrees in the water, but man. That was just so good. Everyone come, caught a few waves, little tiny little bump in the swell out there. And um, yeah, just a beautiful day. The northerly wind, yeah, it's warm. It's nice and warm with that northerly. Like it definitely feels almost like, you know, somewhere not on the Great Ocean Road <laughs> at this time of year. So that's good. Uh, I got a few little things to do. I got to fix like uh, the cable and the speaker in the back of the canopy because it got mashed and broke the fitting. So I need to put a solder on you one of those under there. We want to put uh, some fascias on the batteries today and I want to cook a damper tonight. I've got a hankering for that damper that I cooked down in Tassie at Lake Gardner. So so here we go. Might catch up with some friends who live up in Torquay. Don't know. Might have a beer. Might, uh, yeah. It's going to be a good day. We've got to go shopping too. we got to get some stuff. So, anyway, life in Anglesey. It's not bad. Nick Minnett. Friday. 
So we are, uh, where are we? We are at a caravan park. It's got lots of duckies and jumping. What's there. the name of the place? Can you remember? Uh, Angle. Angle Beach. Angle Beach? Angle C. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was Angle C. Oh, did you? How come you didn't speak up, mate? Uh, okay, so we're at Angle C. We're moving on today. We're going down to Apollo Bay. Um, we've got some bad weather incoming, apparently. It's going to get gross, going to get cold. It's going to be like 15 degrees and raining. So we thought, well, we know Apollo Bay pretty well. Let's go down there and we'll hole up for like four or five days maybe. Uh, I've still got a bunch of editing and work and stuff to do and it's a really good, like well-established, it's a big four. It's got all the cool stuff, which the kids get frothy on. Um, maybe we'll get a cheeky wave there and uh, we'll see how we go. Yeah. How is it being back on the road, actually? Um, it's really good. It's good to have fresh air. But when we're in the car, it's kind of boring. We just want to get there. Uh, the bo what do you mean boring? You guys get to watch iPads. <laughs> you cheater. For real? What's that? What's the deal with that? You guys are watching movies. We have to drive. <laughs> all right. So, mum's inside. She's finishing up the dishes. I've done all the outside business and we've got a couple of things left to, to get going. So, uh, how about we go get amongst it? Yeah. Yeah. There's also a little crow that's always waddling around our campsite. I know, he's quite tame, isn't he? He just wants to hang out. Check him out. What are you Woo doing, mate? Woo Is that your crow noise? <laughs> Do it again. He's definitely coming over here for that, isn't he? He's so tame. So um, Katie's like, let's pull over and get a shot of ourselves at the Great Ocean Road sign. That'll be really cool. And it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. It actually would be. It's like an but iconic we've got a problem. Sign. Yeah. It is an iconic sign. It's pretty awesome. It's just up there. Ready? Oh, look. <laughs> but um, it's bucketing down. And we're like, nah. <laughs> Don't really want to get wet. <laughs> Don't want to get wet for the shot. Don't really want to get wet. Ain't no regular cracker, was it? Oh no, it just looks awful down there at the moment. This is the, this is the weather that we've got though. We've maybe left it a bit late. Can you move it over a little bit? I can't see the start of it. No, no, no. Just back to a little bit towards the left. Yep. 
go side on again like what you would oh yeah there we go down a bit Where? just down a bit i'm looking at half the computer screen and half of the wall yes so that top one there click on that Big Four, Apollo Bay. I think it's called Big Four Pisces for some reason. Don't know what the deal is or the relevance of the Pisces. Maybe because it's by the sea, maybe there's fish. I don't really know. But um, check this park out. It is epic. This park is so sick. The kids have not got out of it the whole time we've been here. You hardly see them all day. But the van is just up here. So super easy, super close. You can keep an eye on them. They're absolutely frothing. Sick view, ocean's right out the back there. You can see the break. <gasps> and Ada has just learned how to get on this thing by herself. She's literally the most turbo stoked person in the world about this. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but she's definitely having a good time. That's pretty cool. So yeah, down you get. You going again? Yeah. Go do it, come on man. Get it, get it. So yeah, the weather is mint today. It's so good. I'm stoked because it was so bad when we got here. It was just raining, it was freezing. Like overnight, the wind got up to probably 60 k's, 70 k's. Whole van's just shaking intensely all night. I actually ended up putting um, noise canceling headphones on. And interestingly, those noise canceling headphones absolutely kill all of the wind noise that you hear when you're in a van. So if you don't like sleeping with wind noise, get yourself some noise cancelling headphones. Just switch on the noise cancelling. The Sony ones work the best with the earbuds. Go AD! Oh my god! <laughs> and uh, yeah, that worked an absolute treat. I don't know how everyone else slept through it because I certainly couldn't. But uh, yeah, so down here, we used to have a holiday house um, around the corner, or well, Kate's mum and dad did, uh, just up, up the road a little bit, or actually, no, in behind these trees here. So they planted all these trees. This was their block in here, like a just pasture in here. And in behind the trees over there, there's a, there's a house that we used to stay at. Before the trees were planted, you'd see like the whole of Apollo Bay. It was just sick up there. They sold it a while back. And I don't think anyone's been in that house for ages. Like it's, yeah, it looks interesting, but it's all overgrown now. All the trees have grown up and yeah, you can't see the view anymore. And yeah interesting it's super interesting we cruised past it the other day and i don't know what's going on up there but yeah so good memories of being down in apollo bay and you know we spent quite a bit of time down here with the family and the kids now dale's been down here we're built now this is the first time ada has been here um kate was down here pregnant with dale right so we're leaving today and the sun came out so typical no i don't want to like yeah it was just sick so it's been nice to be back here and even better with the weather. There's an awesome point break out there. We've been surfing um, near the rock wall, going fishing this afternoon, been doing a bunch of work and editing. Um, it's just lovely. Apollo Bay is a really sick spot and this big four park is rad. Um, Chris from Sunseeker, legend, because I was like, oh man, we've done Apollo Bay, whatevs, but he said, dude, the Apollo Bay Caravan Park is sick. And he was all right, it is awesome, so. Definitely get down here. I think it's like 57 bucks a night here. You've got all this grass, you've got the fake grass, and then you've got your site. Like the sites are huge here for $57. Like, mate, cannot, cannot go wrong. Anyway, we've got a bunch of stuff to do today. I'm gonna get around it. And um, Katie's still doing desktop support for mum inside. Yeah. And then, has it has that saved it somewhere up the top? Yes, I can see it. So, up that blue, see the blue? I can see you've got a Bendigo Bank bookmark and now you've got your... your it's so intense. <laughs> tech support, mate. Tech support. So anyway, Google time now, to get around it. See ya.
So, uh, pro tip, there is one taxi in Apollo Bay, only one, and you gotta call and see if it's available or if it's if it's working or whatever. And then, I got the keys here, but I don't have the keys to the van. And we've called him, and we're like, hey, you available today? He's like, oh, yeah, no, I, you, I just need about 20 or 30 minutes to get ready. So you called me when you got 20 or 30 minutes to go. I'm like, okay, we need to go down to the pub, so let's go to the, there's a distillery. So we're like, let's go to the distillery. It's gonna be good. I'm First excited. I rang and left a message saying, oh, hi, just wondering if you do taxi services today. It's uh, currently Saturday and it's 3.30 in the afternoon. No, I know it's not, then Christian looks at me weird. I'm like, oh, no, it's not Saturday, it's Friday. Oh, no, it's not Friday, it's Thursday. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing really well. Doing really, really well. So, uh, life on the roads agreeing with Katie well. And, um, yeah, so we're going to go down the distillery, suss it out. Mum and Dad Tom, kids have been playing in the park, just smashing it here at the Big Four for the last four days. So I was like, now it's time for Mum and Dad to, to do something. So, yeah, we're going to go suss it out. Hope it's good. Where are we going, Ada? Oh. Well, we're going to a place that my mum and dad will drink from. Drink from. So, apparently, Katie wants to go to the beer house first because timings and when it closes and all the rest of it. There's a tasting room for beer paddles and all that kind of stuff. So, tastes of the region, give it a go. Chocolate Easter egg. A chocolate. 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 Please, please, please come The Dirty Angel Brown Ale. Ale. Um, hints of coffee, chocolate, and toffee. And I tell you what, spot on. Yummy. Keg only. Well, I'm not going to get a keg and take it in the caravan, am I? <laughs> or is she? <laughs> Legit, that is one of the best garlic pizzas I've ever had. Okay, sounds good. See you, mate. Bye. Philbo. Philly. Philbo Baggins. Well, Polo Bay. Yeah, I love Polo Bay. Yeah. Yeah, such a great park that we stayed in, the big four Pisces. And um, yeah, the kids have had a ball. Playground's amazing, the views are amazing, the people are amazing, the facilities are amazing. Today's probably the best day. Yeah. It's perfect out there today, hardly any wind. Not Surfing a lot of sunshine. She's jealous. Of I know, I want, to, I want to be down there. Just down there. Might actually go, maybe. Let's just see, hey? Okay. What are you smiling about? Oh. Alright, where are we going? Uh, I think we're going to go to Warrnambool. Because Christian needs to buy me a Mother's Day present. 
because I'm the best mother. You <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're off today. Uh, a couple of drinks last night after the distillery. A little bit of uh, layerizing going on. A bit of fun. And uh, now we're hitting the road. So it's like two and a half hours, probably two, three hours up the road for us with the van. And uh, yeah, should be good. I am thinking about going to hit that surf first though, because it really does look good. I might drop Kate off in town and get out there and just get a, a cheeky one before we leave, because it looks really good. It's the best it's been out there today, the cleanest for sure. Anyway, it won't surf itself. <laughs> You ready, mate? Okay, let's go. Look at that. Oh, oh, dude, it's pumping out there. You would not like that, Dad. That looks pretty cool, man. Oh, <laughs> what? came and had a look at this spot and the reason we did that is because we came here so many years ago and actually uh, went swimming for diving for abalone out there and I was like oh maybe we should suss it and see if it's any good but the swell's so big today there's no way like in that even in the cove that you get them it'd just be like pumping in there and probably a bit too dangerous so we're gonna give that a miss today wait for the swell to drop see how we go 80 me where are we going Twelve. Twelve apostles. Twelve apostles. <laughs> Let's go! Come on, man! Do it! Let's go! Turbo speed! Another apostle? How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them? Come on. What, what, are you, what are you gonna do, mate? Follow me! Radio! Yeah, get it, Dale! What do you think of the 12 Apostles so far? It's cool. Yeah, why is it cool? Because the waves are also really crashing on it and making big splashes. Wow. Man, I tell you what, I didn't really think that we would get much out of the 12 Apostles, but just standing here and looking at it, it's touristy, but it's so sick. Like, it's a perfect day today. The weather is unreal. There's hardly any wind. The ocean just looks stunning. The waves are big. It's just a ripping day. And I think if you got it on a day like today, it's pretty hard not to be amazed by it. It's unreal. Definitely check it out. Pretty cool in your wedding, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, hey? yeah, yeah, Look yeah. at you go, mate. We found a big wall. <laughs> what do you think it's about? Probably to help people get up to see if the surf, surf is okay. All right, should we check it out? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> do we think that that's the Oddball Island, Ada Mae? Yes! You think so? Yeah. It looks like the Oddball Island. Let's go! Look. Look out. Should we go to the maze now? Yeah! Cool. But the sun's still out, Dad. 
Yeah, let's do it. Go! You ready? Yeah. Where do we go? She's got the nose for it. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, what a sneaky little bugger. Hey. That's cheating. That is cheating. You are a little cheater eater. Cheater. You went underneath. That's not allowed. Go, buddy. Go, Ada. <laughs> I just want to check, are you the eight-year-old hell woman doing the 12-year-old flying fox? Yes. Whoa. Epic. I'm only four years under. Oh, only four years. <laughs> what a legend. Yeah, yeah get it. Why? Did you tell her it was your birthday? Why? Why'd you say that? Because it's an exciting day. We've never been here. It's an exciting day. Shh. I don't want to be a part of the lie. So, we went this morning, did the shopping for Mother's Day, so that's all done. We got Katie a uh, bullet thing like one of the blender things she's been desperate to make some bloody smoothies she put in the request but we also got her like a secret present <laughs> well it's not secret anymore because we gave it to her this morning which is like a jaffle maker because she's missed jaffles so much i was like oh there's so a good one there and it's like a big one it has like a thick like it holds heaps of filling like a sunbeam one and it makes these big fat jaffles so you can load it up so we had some of those for brekkie that was awesome and uh just having a bit of a mellow day today so Saturday tomorrow's Mother's Day we got the present sorted we got to wrap that later with the kids and um, yeah I think it's uh, maybe getting a bit of work done while the girls chill and do the movie thing you know so yeah should be a good day weather's awesome soul is pumping it's coming in nice and good and uh, battery's almost full again, up to 85%. We sucked down heaps last night with a big cook up for a few hours on the induction cooktop and in the air fryer. So got down to like about 50%. We used a lot of power last night. And that's just for one cook for dinner. But it's uncommon that we use so much, especially with the air fryer. We did dessert and everything in the air fryer. But uh, yeah, she's going to be almost full. But we got everything out today, so good times. Better get some work done. So it's not looking that good. That's why I just went down there. But I think we give that a miss today. And we'll um, maybe check it tomorrow when the wind's not at it. Anyway, maybe cook up some sausies that I got from the butcher up here. So that'll be good for lunch. And uh, probably see you tomorrow, I reckon, because there's maybe not much happening today. But uh, Warnable City, we might go for a walk up there later. We'll see, because that actually looks pretty cool. Like there's a little sort of tiny mini sort of CVD, which is pretty funky. So we might suss that out later with the kids. See how we go. Anyway, back to life. I'm just cooking some sausages. Do you like cooking? Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. What's your favorite thing about cooking you, do you reckon? Making my family happy when they eat it. Yeah, it's good, isn't it, hey? How do we go? Do we find mum's cars? What do you want me to do? I want you to help me write something. Okay. For mum. Oh, is this mum's card? Can we have a sneak peek? What's what's going on in there so far? There's some two blue love hearts. Blue love hearts? Hello. He loves blue. What does she? Can you help me write Happy Mother's Day? Yeah. What's going on up here? 
had a blank space on mum's card, so I decided to fill it in. Oh, nice. Happy Mother's Day, Mummy. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, you got your dad up like that. Yum! So, we are out of here today, out of Warrnambool. Haven't been doing a lot of filming. We've just sort of been surfing, laying low, Mother's Day, all that kind of stuff. Uh, just having some time, really. And to be honest, there's that much editing to do uh, that I've got for work and stuff that it sort of slowed down any sort of real production that we're sort of doing with salt earth and sun so much at the moment if there's a spare moment and it's not with the kids and it's not with the family hey girls can you cut that out please then it's spent you know getting through that so that we can obviously make money and keep keep moving so that's pretty important but uh yeah everything's wrapped up here today we're heading to portland we're going to a 48 hour rest stop um we're just going to have a couple of nights not in a caravan park save a bit of cash which is pretty cool so there's that's no cost there, but you have to be fully self-contained. That means grey water, black water, uh, any waste water at all from the van. Nothing can hit the ground. So we've got the grey water tank in the back, which is good. And you, there's no power. But there is a water tap there, but you obviously can fill your tanks with it. So we'll travel empty today, because I don't like towing water for no reason. Fill up when we get there. We'll have a couple of days in Portland. Girls will hang out, and um, hopefully I'll get a bit more editing done. And then on to Mount Gambier after that. So yeah, doing well. <laughs> Got a little bit of background dancing action going on back there. What's going on with that, mate? <laughs> you weirdo. All right, let's get going. You should get some nice days, you know, South Australia. Well, you automatically going to be heading up north as you uh, go to Mount Gambia. Dale, what are we doing here? Getting you know? Stuff for the butcher. Yeah, but what's the butcher? I don't know. Dale knows. Do you even know? No. Do you know what butcher it is, Adie mate? Right, so we are in Koroit, and Koroit is actually has a butcher called Quinlan Family Meats, I think it is. Is that right? I think it was Quinlan Family Meats. Anyway, that's uh, actually Aaron's girlfriend's dad's butcher. You know Olivia? Yeah. Olivia's butcher. So, where I come here to suss out the sort of family butchery and get some meat on the way past. So happy days. We'll go in and load up and hopefully get some good stuff. I love country butchers. Country butchers are the best. Especially their sausages. They don't make crap sausages. So it's family butcher. Family butcher. Pork sausages, she said we gotta get. Pork sausages? Alright. Get done. To watch me shine. So, 12 degrees. It's wet. And it's cold. We've made a decision. Yep. It's, What's that decision? It's a tough one, but it's not tough at the same time. That we're going to just go straight up the guts of South Australia and get to where it's warm as soon as possible. Because it's um, cold. It's cold. It's miserable. It's, yeah, we can't do anything. And it's raining for the next week on the forecast. So there's no sightseeing. It's just sitting in the caravan. Yeah, it's just wasting time. So yeah, we're just going to get to where it's warm and start living life. Mm. Can't wait. It's got to be done. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be done. Look at us. Oh. We're in like Ugg boots, well, we jackets, scarves. We are straight going to the toilet. <laughs> Dale, is it cool? Is it good here? <laughs> it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Well, we did leave it a bit late down here, just a touch, but lighthouse. Whee! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> I got to the we want to see the ocean. Well, this is a bit hectic. <laughs> like the edge of the world. This feels so sketchy. It's just 
wild. I'm fun. Yeah. It's so lovely here. Yeah. What an absolutely awesome day. Perfect day. We're leaving today though. We're going from Portland here all the way out to Mount Gambier. Uh, heading up there and hopefully finding a place that we can have a fire and hang out, which will be good. I'm looking forward to it. Katie's looking forward to getting out of the cold, even though it's gonna be just as cold up there, but we're making a move north. We're doing it, it's happening. We're getting out of here. We wanna get up to, we wanna get up to the territory, get warm. Everyone else is up there at the moment. Looks really good. And I'm very jealous. We're all jealous. So we're going to find a place where we can feel some warmth, some sunshine on our skin, and some uh, some cold beers in the heat. We'll be good. So off we trot. Better get around it. And uh, yeah, time to hit the road again. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day today. plan is get through there, Katie's happy place, to the Barossa, hang out for a little bit, maybe drink some wine, pick up some new wine, and then head north and just get warm. We just want to get warm. Woohoo! Oh, da -da -da! Da -da -da -da!